factorizing by grouping. This is a strategy that will let us factorize binomial expressions. And it's actually sort of just working out half of the solution. I'm just asking you to factorize this. In the last video, you'll remember that we learned how to factorize when I had two terms, both with identical brackets. This is the next step of that. I've got x squared minus x plus ax minus a. We check for a HCF or a common factor across all four terms. There isn't one. When you see four terms like this, you're really suspecting that you might want to be factorizing by grouping. Have a look and see if you can group them into two pairs, preferably in the order they're in, but you could rearrange them if you wanted. You'd still get the same answer. Does this pair have a common factor? It does. And does this pair have a common factor? It does. Separate or factorize the two pairs separately, but as part of the same expression. HCF here is x. The remaining factors are x and minus 1. Now, it's a positive common factor here of a, so we write plus a outside of. And here's a clue. You're aiming for the same numbers or letters in the brackets. a times x is ax. a times negative 1 is negative a. We got the same thing in the brackets. And now it's doing what we did before. This is the HCF now between these two terms. Take that out the front and put the remaining factors in the brackets. So you have factorized by grouping. Now where this um, comes from, of course, is that when you expand a binomial, a times b, sorry, a times c, plus ad, plus bc, plus bd, you get four separate terms. And if I wanted to ex factorize that back, you'd split it up into two pairs, factorize them separately, just as we did here. Sometimes you might need to rearrange. So Oh, and sometimes you can't spot a common factor at all. I should have given you an example of those. You can always get a common factor of 1. Uh, so here, there's no factor between ax and negative 10. There's no common factor between 5x and negative 2a. So you can rearrange. Now, we can have the a's go together. Or we can have the 2 and the 10 go together, or the 5 and the 10 go together. There's all sorts of options, as long as you get two pairs that have HCFs. So I'm going to go with AX minus 2A plus 5X minus 10. So try to keep a a track of what we're doing. I'm keeping the a's together here and the 5 and the 10 together here. Highest common factor of a outside of x minus 2 and that says this should end up as x minus 2 in the brackets. Plus 5 outside of x minus 2. Take the first bracket out the front, put the remaining factors in the second bracket. <coughs> 